The most well-proven ways to protect yourself from COVID-19 is to wash your hands. And if that's unavailable, use a hand sanitizer that's at least 60% alcohol. Second, avoid touching your face because all the viruses and bacteria live on your fingertips and that's how they enter your body. And the final one is to disinfect all your shared workspaces. If you're going to be using a public computer, wipe it down first. First things first, you don't want to shake hands. Do a fist bump or elbow bump to say what's up. Second, if you're going to be touching commonly touched surfaces like elevator buttons or doors, use your elbow or hip instead. And finally, follow proper cough or sneeze etiquette. Do it into a tissue that you can dispose of or into your elbow. You know, tap. It really depends where you're planning to travel to, who are you traveling with, and what's your overall health status. My opinion is definitely check the United States Travel Advisory before going anywhere. Following basic hand hygiene is really important at concerts, washing your hands, not touching your face, and if you see someone coughing or sneezing, you should keep your distance for them at least six feet if possible. Also, don't be surprised if your concert or mass gathering gets canceled because of COVID-19. Washing your hands is the most effective way to disinfect them during an outbreak like COVID-19. However, if that's not an option, using a hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol content is second. Those inexpensive surgical masks you see everyone wearing do not really protect you from COVID-19. And with more and more people buying them unnecessarily, it puts us as healthcare providers at risk. The CDC has been very clear on this. They do not recommend the general public to be buying these. COVID-19 is certainly a dangerous illness, but even more so for those over the age of 60 or for those who have serious chronic medical conditions. If your parents or grandparents fall into either of those categories, the CDC does encourage them to stay home as much as possible. They should be following proper hand and face hygiene and stay up to date with recent information. The three most commonly described symptoms in COVID-19 are fever, shortness of breath, and cough. If you've traveled to any of the countries at risk and you develop these symptoms, definitely contact your local health department for more information.